How are you, lads? I'm just in the middle of taking off this door molding. So as you can see, we have a Suzuki Grand Vitara in. Sorry for the sudden burst of uh, energy. As you can see, my eyes a little bit on the sore side. Um, got a little bit of stuff in it. Got a little bit of uh, metal in it. Not wearing me goggles. Um, note to self, don't wear your goggles. Your goggles, your goggles, goggles. So anyway, lads, we're going to put these moldings back on. They're falling off in a few spots. We're going to do all of the silver on this Grand Vitara in the underseal wrapped off finish. And then we're going to underseal the underside. I have already washed the underneath. I um, was going to record it, but it was absolutely bucketing down. My eye was sore before I went to the hospital to get the piece of metal taken out. Oh lads, just, we didn't record, but it's clean, got a job done, so we're going to just plow on and stick this on with a bit of 4CR polyurethane adhesive and sealant. We'll stick it on with that, and there's two or three of the little moldings falling off it, so we'll get them on, um, and then we're going to jack it up, get the wheels off, get the underneath of it under seal. While the sealer's drying on these, we'll do the underneath, and then when that's dry, we'll paint all this silver black. So lads, let's get the stick of this back on. So I've already got the door kind of wiped down with the dirt off and I just want to take off all of the, as much as the sealer as I can that's on it already. This off we'll clean up the back of the other mold of the molding and then we will stick it back on. That's that, let's get some sealer on it. Stuck it all on with the glue as I showed you in the last video and I just grind down the tops of the screws and I'm going to just put a bit of filler on them and all of the silver is going black and as I said this is a bit of rust underneath it in here 
that's the only little bit of rust on it and to be fair it's a very 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 clean jeep have a look at the underneath of this it's a very 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 clean jeep lads thought that was a bit of rust it's not just that I washed it all underneath earlier on and I'll tell you lads it's just insanely clean yeah well let's get to it
one eternity later. All right, so we're just going to put more epoxy primer on here. So we're going to use some 4 co silicone removal. I have all of that epoxy seal and I have a bit of uh, epoxy primer and I've also got a bit of seam sealer on it. So what we're going to do now is we'll panel well, we'll just give this a little panel wipe pre-clean degreaser off and we will get some primer. And we'll primer up all of these bits and pieces, the, we'll primer up all the silver, let it dry for about half an hour, an hour. And then we'll go for some shots on it. It's going to look absolutely class, and I'm after ripping a bit of tape off. How are you, lads? How are you? So, we're finished with the epoxy primer and we're onto the two pack. It's no biggie. So, I'm going to plug in the air here and we're going to start primering up. Let's get primer on. <laughs> We're going to use the Cobra Red Liner on this from Novo. Let's have a go and see if it's right. That isn't that clear, is it? One eternity later. 